guys welcome back this video is continuation to one of my previous video in which i have shown you how to solve the screen only detected problem i have shown you three solutions overall so mostly it does work for many of them so at the start of the video i have requested to try the third method which is a safe mode method so most of the people actually don't know how to do the safe mode boot and also so many questions are there so i'm just going to replicate the situation here so this is 7 plus 3 running uh, android marshmallow i'm just going to give you this uh, allow permission here so i'm just trying to give allow so you can see i'm getting the screen overlay directed it shows to change this permission settings you first have to turn off the screen overlay from the settings app all right so i went to uh, settings and app solution is that you need to either try a reset operation so success rate of this method is very less 30 to 40 percentage and another one is that you need to come inside this drawer other apps and disable all of these here and just enable your uh, phone whatever app you're looking for and just go to enable permission and try that again so this is not even working so the third method was to use the safe mode method so safe mode actually is a way in which when you try to do the safe mode when you reboot your android in a safe mode all the third party apps will get disabled the only that apps which has a system level pre-installed pre they will only enable so using that method you can check whether your phone has any uh, you know problematic software installed or not so which kind of issues that so using that you can solve the problem so how to reboot your phone in the safe mode so uh, this, this is simple first you need to just uh, hold on your phone and hit the power button for example i am just pressing here you can see i am getting a power off window so it may be very here so you need to just uh, press for a couple of movements here the power off you can see reboot to safe mode now if i press ok the phone will go to the safe mode all right now this is for the micromax phone if i just show you guys here on the motorola phones for example st steps will be the same here just click on the power button you'll get this power off hold on here you will get the reboot to safe mode so it's a uh, common to all phones so i'm just going to do this phone in the safe mode all right now i'm just going to press here for a couple of seconds it will ask for reboot to safe mode I'm just going to click ok let it reboot first so our phone is rebooted in the safe mode so you can see it's clearly written here safe mode so that means a proof here and if you just go and unlock you can see most of the apps that are installed they are disabled you can see all the apps are disabled here so you cannot use these apps so we will just go to the settings here go to the app section so there are two ways you can do that either you can click on the individual app for example our app olx was giving the problem so i can easily go to the olx and click on the permissions i can uh, give permissions to in one shot so if you have more than one app which is causing the problem so you can simply go to the this gear icon and click on the access permission and you can carefully check for example each one of them say location which of the app you want to give the location access you can do in one shot for many of the apps here if you are very safe here you don't have installed much app here so you should enable all of them there's no problem at all you can easily disable them so as the app so you can see i am easily able to give location permission here microphone you can see here you can individually give or you can give to one shot you can click on permissions and i can give to whatever i want it here all right so this is a way you can do that so you need to do this for all apps which has a problem but as i said here if you have no uh, much further apps you just have using few apps and you can simply go and on the access permission you can one shot give all the permissions so you need to uh, use this method so guys what is the reason behind the screen overlay for this uh, problem only comes when you install any of the apps which are trying to modify your system's display setting for example any of the app which can try to rotate your uh, you know screen app or you can change the display brightness or try to enable night mode so it can be any app it's not even known because internally who knows which apps has a lot of problems so for example today you have fixed all your screen overlay problem by going to safe mode and next day you install any new app so this problem may occur so you need to uh, when you're installing the apps carefully so you need to check that out which app is asking for which permission so uh, if you found this problem again just do the safe mode method again now if i just click and reboot again back to normal so just click on reboot button our phone is booted again and we'll just go and try to check whether our problem has been solved or not so location is turned on here this is olx app i'm just click opening here already set the location you can see by default since we have already given permission so it has taken and it will retain the permission if i just go to setting and apps olx you can see all the permission has been clearly given so this you need to repeat that and do this same. so now summarizing again in case you found this problem so you need to uh, just try for the safe mode and the next day you install any other app so you may found this problem occurring again so you need to again do the safe mode this is an issue with the marshmallow you cannot do that and guys there's one more reason i prefer to use stock android nexus phones reason why this is my two year old device i never had any uh, overlay detected problem this is nexus 6b 
starting from the March low. Now it is on Android, and I never had any problem from last eight to nine months. I'm using that one, and apart from that, I use many other phones. They does does have all these kinds of problems. So that is one of the reason I prefer to use Nexus phones because they solve lot of pains, even though they are very less customizable. But they give many many flexibility in using the phone without any problem. So hope you guys found this video helpful. In case you have still concerns and queries, let me know on my Twitter at the GI Support and. This is Saurabh. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.